everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you my favorite two mindset rituals that make sure that even during this busy Christmas season I am attracting my goal. This is one of the biggest questions that I receive uh, just before Christmas. Eva, of course I'm so busy, there's so much going on with my Christmas preparation, so many people to see, so much to do. How can I stay on track with my goal? And obviously during Christmas, we're not going to have as much time as usual from our daily mindset routine. So what I would love to share with you is my favorite two, my two favorite rituals that make sure that even during Christmas, I am attracting my goals. So the first one is visualizing before bedtime. So the last five minutes, of your day um, before you fall asleep is the most important part of the day that literally you can program your mind for your C-type goal and you can do it very easily by just falling asleep visualizing a scene of your goal fulfilled. This is a technique that I uh, learned from Neville Goddard, uh, a guru when it comes to using your imagination to fulfill in your dreams and I love doing that. So what I do uh, just few minutes before bedtime, I either do a guided visualization uh, or, and if you guys are looking for ideas, there is a lovely guided visualization by Bob Proctor called Abundance Meditation on YouTube or Master 3. Uh, I don't remember the meditation name, <laughs> but it takes uh, nine minutes, but these are my favorites that I would use. I personally uh, don't really use the guided one. I guide myself. So what I would do, I have a scene of that would happen. What, what is the scene that would happen when my goal is fulfilled? And I make sure that I go through that scene and I actually experience it in my imagination uh, before I fall asleep. And I carry the feeling of my wish fulfilled into my sleep. Why? Because while I'm sleeping, my subconscious mind, along with the entire universe, is working on me fulfilling my goal. And so not only I have a wonderful sleep, but also the next day I might wake up with some ideas towards my goal or some things are happening themselves. And it's just really magical technique to help you uh, leverage with very short and sweet exercise. So you're lying in your bed, five minutes before bed, you can just simply close your eyes and imagine that scene of your goal fulfilled. So um, let's suppose you want to uh, attract your dream home. I'm just going to give you an example of a visualization that I used to do uh, before I attracted my current house in Spain. I would close my eyes and in my mind, with, uh, I would talk to myself. I'm so happy and grateful now that I purchased my dream home. I am, and then I would talk myself through the scene of what, what is a scene, a scenario uh, that hap that takes place when I actually have my home, which can only happen when I already purchased my home. So for instance, I would say something like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I purchased, I own my dream home in Spain. And then I might say, I'm lying on my bed uh, in Spain, in my new house, and uh, it's it's an evening and I'm and I'm getting up for a few minutes and I'm walking around the room, touching the furniture and feeling profound gratitude. This is my home. I open the curtain, step out on the balcony. I'm holding the railings and I'm looking out and I'm observing all the city lights and I'm just absorbing the beauty of my environment. And I place my hand over my heart and I'm like, thank you, universe. Thank you, God, for this wonderful, wonderful new home. I feel so much joy, so much gratitude, so much celebration in my heart, and I feel it in my body. Then I say to myself, and I'm walking back, I'm opening the sliding door, climbing up on my bed, and I'm peacefully falling asleep. And I literally, <clears throat> and then I would just say, thank you, universe, or thank you, God, for my dream house. And I would carry the gratitude into falling asleep. So the idea is to fall asleep being there in your imagination as if it's already your reality. Uh, some people uh, carry it to sleep, carrying the activity into sleep, the scene. So they just keep rolling the scene in their mind and feeling the emotions in their body until they fall asleep. Some people finish the scene and they just keep saying, thank you universe or thank you God for my dream home and feel it in your body. I feel this way, this way, this way and just fall asleep like that. Uh, some people do it just 
just by speaking to themselves in their mind. I personally like using uh, emotional music, some piano music, in order to help me uh, direct my mind. Test and try what works for you. But if you manage to do this five minute or few minute exercise and fall asleep with the feeling of your wish fulfilled, the whole subconscious mind and the universe is working for you to fulfill your dreams. And it's so, so, so beautiful. The second exercise that I always do, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas or any other time of the year, which makes sure that I am always feeling great. I am always in gratitude state. So this is a gratitude exercise and there's a couple of versions of it that I want to share with you because depending on how much time you have, uh, you know, you will, you will do one or the other. So I literally just now, uh, you know, I literally just now did my gratitude exercise. And so the usual gratitude exercise that I personally do, I sit down for 10 minutes and I, the first thing that I do, I close my eyes and I connect to, uh, to the feeling of unconditional love. So you might think about someone you love un unconditionally, could be your spouse, could be your kid, could be uh, your pet, your niece or nephew, and just feel that profound, bring them into, their imagine into your imagination and feel that love that you have for them. This is really wonderful uh, technique to center you and get you ready for profound gratitude. You know, what gratitude does basically, the more you feel gratitude, but I'm talking about really deeply feeling it in your body, the more you attract things to be grateful for. And so of course, Christmas is a hectic season. So, you know, you might be busy with your loved ones. You might see uncles and aunties that you don't wanna see. <laughs> and you know, and you really wanna do People might be triggering you, you know, there's all sorts of things going on. So you want to be centered and you want to be grateful because the more grateful you are, the more reasons to be grateful you're going to attract from the universe. So what do we do? So we close our eyes, we connect with that profound unconditional love to somebody or to, you know, our pet. Um, and then we write 10 things that we are grateful. And I personally write in shortcuts. So I would write... I'm so happy and grateful or thank you, God, thank you, universe. Uh, you know, apparently when you are grateful to higher source or higher power in the universe that you will live in, so could be God, could be universe, you feel your gratitude more profoundly. So I would write at the top of the page, thank you, God. And then I would write, you know, five things from my present life that I'm grateful for and five things from uh, my dreams that I'm manifesting right now that I'm grateful for. So maybe I would write... Uh, thank you, God, at the top, and I would say for my new home, for my fiance, for being able to bring my family to uh, to Spain to celebrate Christmas, uh, for my team, and so on and so forth. I would write five things that I'm always grateful for, and it's very easy to feel gratitude for. And then I would write five things that I'm manifesting that I'm grateful for. So maybe thank you for uh, that revenue per month that I'm manifesting for the amount of clients that I want to, you know, uh, that, that we are enrolling in my imagination, in my next level self, uh, and so on and so forth for the new team members and so on and so forth. So I would write 10 and then I want to feel it deeply. It's all about feeling, not just writing. You really want to feel because what you feel universe will match during the day. So I would, uh, you know, I would write that uh, even to be honest, the way I do it, I write one by one, one and feel it, one and feel it, one and feel it. So I would write, you know, thank you God for my home. And then I would close my eyes and in my mind, I would say, thank you God for my home, for it makes me feel so wealthy, so inspired, so nurtured and so, so, so joyful. And so I want to feel the emotions in my body, what this thing or person or situation makes me feel like. And I really, really feel profound gratitude, you know, like it's just like maximized. And then I go for my, for my fiance, for my being able to bring my family. And, I'm, and I just close my eyes and I say, thank you God for, for being able to bring my family, treat them to luxurious holidays for Christmas in the sun, for it makes me feel so generous and so grateful. And I feel these feelings in my body. So when you go through these 10 things, you know, you have beautiful, grateful vibration and you are literally a magnet to things to be grateful for. 
Uh, there's a couple of other things that I do to finalize the exercise. So for me, gratitude exercise is also a way to connect with divine guidance or to my intuition. And I love, love, love doing that. So the next th thing that I do, I'm feeling really grateful. And then I would close my eyes for literally two minutes and I would ask God or universe for guidance. So I would close my eyes and I would say, thank you, God, for showing me my next steps towards fulfilling my dreams. And I would sit and listen or observe. Some people receive words, some people receive images, some people receive um, all sorts of guidance. And I would, when I receive something, I would write it down or just remember. And then there is the last part of this exercise that really clears your energetics and helps you be fully grateful. You wanna send love to three people that annoy you the most. So the way I do it, I close my eyes and I imagine three people that maybe wronged me in certain way and I literally send them beams of love. Why do I do that? Because I do not, and when I send them the beams of love, I close my eyes, I imagine that for, for first person in the distance and I am like sending love and sending and saying, you know, um, dear whatever the name is, I'm sending you love and I'm wishing you all the best uh, and I forgive you. So I literally do not want to hold any resentment in my body, any resentment or guilt because these, these vibrations block my manifestations. So I clear them by forgiveness and by sending love to people that maybe wronged me in any way or, you know, I feel resentful towards. And so this beautiful exercise not only puts you in the vibration of gratitude, which attracts more reasons to be grateful, situations, people, opportunities, but also it connects you to your intuition and divine guidance. Now, let's say you don't have time for 10 minutes a day to do the gratitude exercise properly. I literally, when I go for a walk, whether with family or myself, I have this little gratitude rock uh, in my pocket. And I, whenever I feel like, you know, I just want to feel gratitude. I just hold that, hold that rock in my pocket. And I, I think about things in my life. And in my mind, I say like, wow, thank you, God, for this beautiful weather. It makes me feel so nurtured and so happy that my family gets to spend warm Christmas. And I feel that gratitude in my, in my heart, you know. And I, I can just go for a walk for five minutes and just feel great gratitude. And it's the same thing because I'm just tuning into the beautiful, deep feeling of gratitude. I'm just doing it more efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to, I want to really wish you wonderful Christmas with your loved ones. Lots of peace and love and joy and gratitude. And I want to say thank you so much for following me throughout the year. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm just wishing you all the best. I hope these two tools uh, come about as useful and you will use them and you will have phenomenal Christmas. Thank you very much and happy Christmas.